Well, everybody knows that eating healthy is important, but identifying unhealthy ingredients in your food can be as vital as making those smart nutritional decisions in the first place. So joining us this morning is health coach Jen Trapek. She is the host of the podcast Salad with a Side of Fries. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. I love the title, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Super menu. And it's actually, that's a good meal, in my opinion, It as is. Well. It's balance, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. I mean, you're the expert, so if you say so, absolutely. Right. So let's talk a little bit about, like, where people are, because it's been such a weird year, and heading into the summer, this is where like, every magazine would be, like, get your bikini body, get your whatever. I think most of us just want to get our health and our mental health and physical health back on track. So food is a big part of it because you are what you eat so where do you suggest we start absolutely so you know as you said I think if there's one thing we've learned in this last year it's the importance of our health right and a big piece of that is the little things that we do every day true health care are the small choices that we make every day so with our food certainly in an ideal world right we're eating only foods that don't have a label but the reality is we're all in our lifetime going to choose foods that have a label. So being able to read that and understand what we're actually getting versus what the front of the package tells us we're getting can be critically important for our health. Right, we're looking at some video as you're speaking of like a million ingredients, which is what you see on most <laughs> labels. So start small, like tell if we were just gonna start today by trying to be more aware, what would you say to look for in a box and say, if you see this, don't do it? Absolutely, so first of all, one of the things we want to look at is actually not the calories, right? I think that's one of the pitfalls that, that many people make is we look at the calories and we make a decision. The truth is it's about the quality of those calories that dictates our health. So looking at what those calories are made of. So first and foremost, one thing nobody needs at all is trans fats. These are new to nature molecules, right? Man-made in a laboratory. And the tricky part is a label can actually say trans fat free, even if it has 0.5 grams or less per serving. So in reading those ingredients, we're looking for words like modified, fractionated, hydrogenated or hydrolyzed, and then attached to typically a vegetable oil. Hmm. So any of those words, red flag. Okay, that's, a, that's actually a really good one. Um, what's another one? So. One of the things I always tell my clients and my podcast listeners is protein and fiber at every meal makes removing fat no big deal. Protein and fiber at every meal makes removing fat no big deal. So when reading a food label, how can we interpret the protein and the fiber? So protein, when we're reading a food label, seven grams of protein is the equivalent to about one ounce of a cooked meat or one egg. Right, so we can then put it in terms that we understand so that we can build our meal around it, right? Fiber are the carbohydrates that we want. So when we're looking at a food label, ideally we're looking for foods that have at least five grams of fiber. And I will tell you that is challenging, <laughs> right? But when we're choosing foods, if we use those barometers, it can help guide us in the direction of better choices for our overall health. Those are great. Those are two very simple things. And you'll hear more of this on Salad with a Side of Fries, the podcast. Available, I'm assuming, in all the normal podcasting yes, places. All the podcast places, we <laughs> are there. All right. Thank you. It's very nice to chat with you. Thank you, you too. 818 now. And let's